Right, I've arrived at this little church right in the middle of nowhere. I can't pronounce it. It sounds um, like a place that someone had a lisp when they designed it or a stutter or something. It's something called like Thumbfit Nepe. I don't know. It's Anyway, it's um, the parish church of St Mary the Virgin, Nempnet Thrumpmel. That's how it's spelled. Nempnet Thrumpmel. See? So like someone had to stutter when they met, when they, um... It's right in the middle of the road. Really, really hard to find. Just going around in circles, like little tiny, um, tracks and everything. But there is a little church here. And, um, I'm just having a look round. I'm doing the video straight away, actually, on this one. I didn't video, um, an, another one I did on the way. Um, I can't remember what it was called now, but, um... This is not the sort of place I would come very often. We've got a Joseph Moulton of Bourne in the parish of Burrington who departed this life October the 1st, 1839, aged 53 years. Also Maria Moulton, his wife, who departed this life October the 1st, 1845, aged 67 years. I don't know if we're going to find anyone, any hassles or anything, but I have been all over the place today. We just wanted to go around doing all the churches actually. I like the sound of the weird name. That's one of the reasons I came out here actually. It's right, it literally is one of those. But it's not totally remote. It's not like Debson. This has got, at least this has got um, a farm there, look. Of course, if you were in America and you came across somewhere like this, you'd be, you'd expect lots of weird people to emerge from the farm, wouldn't you? You know what I mean? If this was America, a neat little church, that little tower, a little Norman tower. It looks old. Won't be open. I bet you anything. It won't be open. I expect they got the key somewhere, but they never leave. They never have the church. I expect someone here has got the key. It's a horrible day. It really is horrible today. It's blowing a gale. But it's beautiful up here. It's right up in the right up in the um hills. Like I said they don't have these places open. Look, you can see that ambient bridge. Look at the cobwebs on that. No one's been in there for a while. It's a very, very cold day. And I expect you get a lot of wind up here. There's a Cox family. It's very cold. Bitter. It really is cold. We've had a very horrible winter. And April is... It's the 18th of April today, and believe me, it's very, very cold. Very cold. We're going to have a very short summer. It better be bloody hot. Well, there you go, everyone. There's a bit of my beautiful Somerset countryside over there. Look. In this very remote place with a very quaint little church, which unfortunately isn't open. It's got a little tiny tower and a little tiny spire. It's a shame it didn't open. It would have made up for the journey to get here. And there's some people that come come to be buried up here. Look in this quiet little place. Except many people come up here. A lot of Fords and Coxes. Someone's stuck right up there in the marks. And who's this? In loving memory of dear mother, Mabel Alice Weaver. She died in 1956. I'll take some photos in a minute. I thought I'd do the video. Oh, look, there's a goat. Hello, goatee. 
Hello, Goaty. Yeah, I wanted to get up here. It would be a, a really, really difficult uh, cycle unless you're very fit because you can get lost easier. It, it took me a lot of weaving around just in the car and, and I wouldn't be able to keep doing that with a bike going up and down round and round in circles you know I expect there might have been more people in here once see eh? if we got over there I will go around that way I expect I could climb over this bit Let's see if I can. One, two, three, up. Yeah, another Ford there. Will Alfred William Ford, 12 years church warden of this parish, who died the 6th of January 1922, aged 66. Also, Sarah Jane, wife of the above, who died 12th of October 1941, aged 84. And Harvey's dead in the ground now. Not in Totnes, uh, up in where they bury their lot. Yeah, he's gone now. He always seemed old to me, Harvey, mind. He always, because I was only 21 when I met him, he was 56. He seemed old to me then. He's always been old. Ever since I remember him. He was fit though, well, obviously when he was 56, he was very he was strong, he was able to do the farming. But, um, he's always seemed old to me. Oh, is this the king? Who's this? Also the beloved children of the aforesaid A and M M King, Walter, their youngest son, died June 20th, 1913, aged 22. Albert Ernest Walter and Minnie died in their infancy. That's a little King family, because we've got King in our family up in London, and we've got one of my grand, two of my grandkids have got um, Kings. So you've got Henry Gordon, dearly beloved and only son of J.H. and E.H. King, who was killed in action May the 20th, 1915, and laid to rest in the military cemetery, Plo something Belgium, aged 24 years. He died that we might live. So there's a little King family there and I expect this is them on this side. The beloved wife of Alfred King. And also Alfred. And they died. I can't read it to be quite honest. Huh? Anyway, what a beautiful view though, isn't it? So look at that lovely stained glass window that's got there. Like the negative when you see it from like this outside. That would be a beautiful, beautiful stained glass window. Oh, hello goatee. You can be on my video. Who are you? What are you doing? Hello. You're pretty. You're clever. You're gonna get in trouble. You are. Oh, there's another one. my video now. <laughs> oh. Two little goats just popped up on the wall to say hello to me. 
a lovely church, isn't it? Beautiful Somerset church. This beautiful setting. Beautiful. What a lovely place. So many peaceful places, isn't it? So many peaceful places. Yeah, look, there's even evidence of the old Saxon um, cross there, look. Yeah, look at that. It's got enough to make up for it, this has. Look at that old cross. Beautiful, isn't it? Look at that old door there. There's another feature there, a couple of them. Um, I said I will be going around with doing photographs separately because I've got to be careful of the, the memory I'll go soon on this. And then I just have to use mobile to do photos. That's why I'm doing the, the video first. Just to see if there's any names come up that we might be familiar or unfamiliar with. That's an old one, isn't it? William Saunders Paul, yeoman of this parish, who died March the 22nd, 1808, age 46. Also, in memory of Hannah, wife of William Saunders Paul, who died December the 3rd, 1830, age 66. Also, John, son of the aforesaid William Saunders and Hannah Paul, who died September 1842, age 52. And then they've got a daughter as well. She died in 1854, age 58. And then another daughter called Sarah. She died in 1862, age 72. That's a nice old gravestone, isn't it? That one. The Paul family. What a lovely church there. Look at that little spire on the top. Church of St Mary the Virgin, Nymphnet Thrubwell. I'm going to have to get someone to pronounce that for me to know what it really, what it really sounds like. <laughs> There's another old one, that's someone who died in 1802. George Morris, yeoman of this parish, and Julie, Julian, his Julianne, her, his wife, she died in 1801, aged 75, and William Morris, son of them, he died 1802, aged 19, and others. Yeah, so we've got a few old graves here. Bennett's, that's an old grave. We've got all this decoration, you see. On the on the graves. Well, that is a lovely, lovely old Saxon. It probably would have been Saxon or very, very Norman as well, you know, old base for a cross. That is. Look at this door here, isn't it beautiful? William Rogers died 1944 and Lucy Rogers. She died in 1983, age 94. He was 57 when he died. Some Holbrooks. Rosina Holbrook. She was 70 when she died. 